Oh right, it's time to play. All right, it's time to play Lay the Princess. Huh? My glasses on. Oh, it's Slay the Princess. Oh, that's totally different from what I imagined, but okay, I guess. We are already here, so let's play it. I love my little fucked up hand. It's pointing like... Look at her and laugh. <laughs> Look at that loser. That freaking idiot. Anyway, let's start the game. Chapter 1 The Hero and the Princess. <gasps> That's me. Not the princess, You're on the a hero. path <gasps> in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. <gasps> It's her, my nemesis. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Yeah? Lord, oh my god, there's bajillion... freaking things. The end of the world? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No yeah, I birds, got that, but... No more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Well, if the bodiless voice tells me to do it, I guess I have to. But how can a princess locked away in a basement? <laughs> if you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going. We have any evidence to back that up? Let's go. Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. I, I mean, I, I mean, you got a point, but still. Uh, but how can a princess lock the way? Consider that maybe the only reason she's do she's going to end the world is because she's locked up. Being a princess, can someone else do it? Yeah, can can you get like someone else? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. Yeah. I don't make the rules. I do wish I did, but I don't. You probably do. He makes the rules. He's like, he's making the freaking rules. Uh, we get some sort of a, a thing? Yes. You'll have to slay her before you get it. <gasps> There's a reward. Maybe a kiss from the narrator? Can you tell me uh, what my prize is? Look, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her, but... Uh, and if she is bad, as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything yet. Okay, I'm sold. You know what? I'm sold. Let's go reward. Let's freaking go. On your goal, it should all be smooth sailing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. Uh -huh. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Oh, so just like Don't all women. Oh, she she says. Says. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Supposed to lay them, not slay them. The fuck is wrong with you? Voice of the hero. Who the fuck is that? Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I agree, fuck him. Uh, well, I got so many freaking options. Zoom in. Enhance. Open the door. The interior Everybody of the cabin the is dinosaurs. almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in Lovely. a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. A blade? The blade is your implement. 
You'll need it if you want to do this right. I don't know what the implement is, but okay. Uh, should we take it? Let's go inside and see her, I guess, before we go murder her. The door Hobbit to the her. basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Of course, you're gonna say that. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It is I, the hero. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Jesus, voice of hero, focus. You dumbass. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Uh, we talk? Hey, uh... No, let's continue. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. <laughs> Are you in blank? I'm gonna chalk the fork out of it. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Yeah? She's beautiful. God damn it, voice How of could hero. someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Uh, hold on, let's uh, talk a bit. Let's get to know each other before we get to the chain breaking, you know? Okay. <laughs> I'm not weird, okay? Oh, she's a... Uh... Uh... Sorry, I can... You know what? I changed my mind. Fuck it, let's go back for it. Thank you. turn back to the stairs, intent on retrieving the blade in the cabin. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. Uh... You'd better hope for your own sake that I don't slip these chains before you make it back down here. Um... Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. Um... But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Uh, hero voice. She has to be bluffing, but I'd hurry if I were you. You rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade, both yours and the world's only possible salvation. Okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. I suppose we have a world to save, after all. <sighs> the Brett. <gasps> we can do this. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. It's quiet. Quiet, quiet. Where the uh -oh. princess sat only a moment ago, there's only a severed arm, its cooling flesh still chained to the wall, and she is nowhere to be seen. Whoa. Uh -oh. Is it just me? Or did this room get a lot bigger? Oh, I think I got off the wrong foot. He's lost an arm, I'm locking her down there and letting her bleed out. You know what? Fuck it, let's run, Jesus! This is a dangerous play. Who's to say she'll actually succumb to her wounds? She doesn't have a weapon, and she's missing an arm. You can finish this right here, right now. Now let's lock her away. Tell you what. I'll even stay here for a while to make sure she's dead. What? I... You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound and we have all the time in the world. 
Playing Jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Oh, sh- I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Oh. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Uh-oh. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. Stop it! As she said, violently stop. rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forget it. Oh no. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. Oh no. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Thanks, narrator. Uh... Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. Whatever you are, you're not a princess. Go ahead and waste your energy. I'll be waiting for you. Be so sure about outlasting me. You're so brittle. What? Well, no. So go ahead, rest, do whatever you think will help you be prepared. But know that I'm coming for you, and that when I find you, I will make you hurt. No, you. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar, its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Uh, did we fuck up? Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. Oh, no. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. What kind of a fucked up princess is this? It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? I got a knife back off, can't. She steps closer. Oh my god. One silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. No, stab her, stab her face. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Yeah. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say oh, better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? No, I can restart the game, fuck you. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Well, chapter two, the nightmare. What the fuck? I died. How is You're this chapter? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, uh, but you're uh. here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Wait a minute. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. <laughs> don't this be is silly. the first time either of us have been here. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he 
Jesus! Voice of paranoia? That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit! Fuck! I think you'll find yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. This is more than just deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Did you not see what happened five minutes ago? That freaking princess is crazy. Uh, let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? You know what? Let's, let's just go and see what the fuck is happening. A warning before you go any further. Let me guess, she's a freaking lunatic? She will lie. She will cheat. She did she more than that. in her power to stop you from slaying her. She did Don't believe way she says. more than that. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least, she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Yeah, whoops. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. I like this voice. I'm gonna listen to him. The interior uh... of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. Um, there's something in the windows! The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I still don't know what implement is. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. Yeah, what the fuck? It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I can. <laughs> I'm getting freaking multiple personality disorders. What's happening? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting no, stuck oh, in she head totally like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. <laughs> and only uh, uh, didn't say anything about the mirror. The cabin is different than I remember. Yeah, they didn't. Did he mention it? You're right. I was so stuck on the eyes watching us that I didn't even notice it there. What are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. It's right There's freaking table, there. The blade sitting on the floor, and the open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. It's a freaking mirror, yeah. There isn't. We have to look at it. Unless that's what he wants us to do. And pretending it isn't there is a trick to get us to do exactly what he wants. God damn it, the voice of paranoia. I know. Why would you lie about there not being a mirror when it's clearly right freaking there exactly why would i lie about something so meaningless what good would a mirror even do i don't waste fucking time know you're yourself the instead of doing liar. what needs to be done uh. very different he changed it didn't he it's like he's trying to make us doubt our reality very fucking different what is this calm down what is this maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Uh, you know what? Let's fist fight her, fuck her. Oh, we should have taken the knife. I don't think going Aww. down there unarmed is going to do us any or favors. Paranoia. I imagined, I imagined the voice of paranoia being like that. Was it the purple guy from 
Shit, what was that Pixar movie with the emotions and in the head of a person? It was it was okay. Yeah, like him. You cross over the threshold um, and onto a series of isolated steps, suspended in darkness. Um. More eyes, too. You never mention the eyes. He never mentions the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. Like the princess me? princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances oh, no. up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. I, I don't like fun. Thing. No, thank you. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Oh, we don't. The puffin. Void between the stairs. Down. I'm too. Should we do that? I'm going to kill her. The narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Uh, should we go in? You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Yeah, what the Are fuck? you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the most reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. Yeah, fuck you. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Again? Oh, Please yeah. stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Uh-oh. Uh... Go back. You turn back to the stairs, only to find Fuck. they aren't there. What happened to the stairs? A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you uh -oh. are. Uh-oh. I told you I was going to find Whoa -oh. you. Whoa! As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Zoinks! Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? This is it? It's almost like you want me to get you. What happened to her? There has to be a way out of this. Think, think, think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, no shit. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? I'm working! Do you want this body to function, or do you want to- <laughs> Then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? <laughs> You have seconds left. We got seconds! Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? <laughs> do you want to live or die? Oh, well. Standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. No, you. She isn't attacking us. 
Why? Yeah, what the fuck? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Well, she just spooked her. Well, spooked us, I guess. We're having a panic attack, but you know, that's kind of... On us. And how are we supposed to do that? We don't have a weapon. The way out of here is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, the fuck you want me to do? Punch a ghost? That isn't my fault. You got me here, okay. It doesn't matter whose fault it is, because fighting her isn't an option right now. Then you should get looking, shouldn't you? You just gonna let me? Jesus. I'm not doing any of this, I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not... Wait, leave together? <laughs> Fine, let's freaking go. What? No! <laughs> Fuck you, I'm going with the spooky lady. Let's go. Go, girlfriend. Before you can utter another word, your body stops moving. What? And, uh, do you think you could just wrest control away from us? You get him, paranoia. Functioning as it is. Doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her? Won't letting us die here just make it end faster? Shit. Oh, we got him. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, nerves heart, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. With a flick of the princess's wrist, the stairs slide back. Place. I can't believe you're making me watch you damn everyone to torment and oblivion. Oh, fuck you guys. Girls, go good off them. You don't want to be stuck down here. The princess glides onto the stairs and beckons you to follow. If only you had a weapon, this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. Nah, I'm done with this. I'm with her. But we don't. We've already made our choice. We can still grab it on the way out. <laughs> Paranoia, no. Bad paranoia. You're not wrong, but maybe you should let me handle the suggestions for the time being. Just focus on keeping us alive. <laughs> right. Heart. Lung. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Yep. Onto the stairs and follow the princess. You step onto the basement stairs, following the princess as she ascends. Pins and needles punctuate your every step, an uncomfortable and constant reminder of your mortality. Is this really worth it? Hell yeah! At least, it's a choice. That doesn't justify anything. A terrible choice is still terrible. Make sure you keep up. We wouldn't want you to fall. As if acting on instinct, you crane your neck and look behind you. Mm. There is nothing there. Yeah, don't, don't look. Don't do that. The princess reaches the top of the stairs and taps on the door. You know, I kind of like her like this. So cute. Oh my god, never mind. Back in your direction, watching you with dead eyes as the way out creaks open. Don't forget that your pristine blade is still on the other side. You can still make this right. You can still save everyone. You can still save yourself from becoming her tormented pet. Uh, no. I made my decision, fuck you. There's no harm in us having a weapon. All it does is give us more options, and we are dangerously low on those right now. Thrust, I, I got this. Um, have you considered that maybe you could operate the autonomic nervous system for a bit? Everyone is trying to manipulate us, and I can only do so many things at once to keep us alive. Chill, voices. Chill, I got this. Um, heart. <laughs> God damn it. Liver? Your body seizes violently as you regain consciousness on the floor of the cabin. No, no, no! You're doing it all wrong! You're supposed to do it like this. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. I guess I have to do everything around here, don't I? <laughs> oh, I'm par paranoid. Heart, lungs, liver. There we go. Back with me where you belong. I thought you might have decided to break yourself just to spite yeah. me. It's better for you <laughs> that you didn't. <laughs> I've got to break myself to spite you. Now we can get back to business. Oh, she's a cutie. For starters, we won't need this where we're going. You're looking at the knife. The princess plucks the blade from the floor and tosses it through the door behind you. It vanishes into the inky black of the basement, never to be seen again. Well, there goes that idea. Guess we're not stabbing her in the back. 
Oh, we're gonna stab her in the back, wink, wink. <sighs> I guess not. I'm going to fix myself a stiff drink. If I'm about to watch you hand the world to her on a silver platter, I'd rather not be sober. Oh, you wouldn't want to miss what's going to happen next. And now, you open the door. There's nothing else for us to do. Well? The doorknob twists in your hand, revealing the forested path beyond the cabin. You bastard. Oh, fuck you. Fuck everyone. Let's go. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to ruin it. Oh, crazy babe. But it's so cold, too. It's itching against my skin. You okay? What? The princess, exhausted, slumps to the ground. There's no narrator anymore. Why is it so cold? Because you didn't bring a jacket, you... What the fuck? Um... Okay, bye. You do not have an op opportunity to respond. Something has taken her away. And it's left something else in her stead. A freaking mirror! She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? I don't know. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? I mean, Why now? I think somebody did the job for us, so we, we just go. Uh, I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. Right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. I should feel better with her gone. But I, I don't. I know, right? It feels weird. The narrator is gone too. He is. Does that mean the world ended? Yeah. No voice needing us anymore. Feels good, but I also feel itchy. Cold. Shit, it's getting to us too. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Just approached. I'm begging you, don't do this. I gotta. It's different now. It feels. I don't know. Final. I know. It's calling us. And not in a good way. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't have a choice. You approached the mirror. This. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Stop saying final. It's calling us. And not in a good way. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Well. Oh, I have a fucked up hand. Silence as you reach forward. They are gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Oh sh It's me. Got an achievement, it's you. Ooh, I look something. You are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. See to the to the cabin, it's freaking here everywhere. Well, you are at the cabin. <laughs> okay, approach her. Okay, lady. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I'm a little book turtle. But not, well, enough about me. Solitary lights? What do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. I... I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. Oh, I'm not so beautiful, but I guess. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. That explains zero things. Makes zero sense. Uh, the gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. 
confusing me more than making it. This one is filled with sadness. Oh. A doll, abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. She desires only companionship, but the only thing she knows is how to hurt. Oh. She will make for a tender heart. Or little dolly. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. Oh. Uh, is this the, the end of the world? Did I fuck up? How can the world have ended if we are talking? I don't f freaking know. Everything is gone and fucked up. Can you let her go? I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Well, I tried. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Okay. If she says it doesn't hurt. Well, do you know the, the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Okay. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Do you know about the roads beyond this place? I know only that they are. You the princess? She is part of me. And part of me oh is her. He's one of those cryptic talking. Uh, but were you always the princess or are you just making her a part of you? You speak in circles. I speak in circles. It doesn't matter where one thing begins and another <laughs> ends. You speak in riddles. Like me. But do we know each other? You are familiar. But you are not me. I know that. I feel sadness, no. longing, hope, as I witness you. Well, what happens now? Or your body? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. Ooh. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. I don't know what that means. Aren't you scared that I'll find you? Kill you? I have not lived. <laughs> I am not afraid to die. Well, I mean, uh... How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Well. How many more pieces do you, of you do I have to find? More than you have found. But less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Oh, thanks. Can you give me a freaking number? And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Well, is that so bad? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that uh, what you're gonna do? I'm not going back. You ask of things that cannot be done. Huh? To destroy is merely to reshape. To remold. <laughs> no. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Oh, she freaking knows what she's... Fine, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. How? I'm gonna forget. You won't. Jesus. Everything goes dark and you die.
Chapter 1 The Hero and the Princess You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Yeah. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. No way, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Well, uh, <sighs> you're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. Did I lose you my voice? Short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. We're not going to yeah, go through yeah. oh, with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, proceed. Alright, what what's the game plan, I guess? Different choices make a different princess? The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air Should is I just stale and musty. Go in and stab and her? The blade is your in you know what? I'm just gonna take the blade from rush the her. I'm gonna bum rush her. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Enter. Stabby, stabby time, princess. A door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Her voice. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Yeah, she's not so sweet anymore. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Continue that. Good. You're still listening to reason. Let's finish that. Stabby, stabby. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? <laughs> You're gonna stab me with a little thing. Little thing. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? Oh. Uh. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. That's the idea, lady. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Yeah, just better drop those pants, son. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. That's the idea. Play the princess, there we go. You lunge forward Aww. without a moment's hesitation. Don't make that face. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. I mean, god damn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that was my reaction. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Yeah? Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Oh, shit. Yeah. So she's convinced she can't die. Yes. <laughs> Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. It's a <laughs> weird face she's in. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? I don't know, is it? Of course it is, she dead. Yes, exactly. It's over. 
They're all the credits. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? But save the world. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. I guess. But it was for the greater good. One but of these days makes that will better. sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Fuck. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, fuck it. You well. open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. We did it. Only huh? a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Huh? Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Uh, Mr. Narrator, you have some explaining to do. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. What? That's bullshit. Let me out. What's done is done. And there's no going back now. What do you mean? This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. No, let me out. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Well, at least I'm happy, I guess. Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? No. Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. Hell no, do we have any idea how to get us the freaking... You, you can say hell no, then go heck out of here. What? I do, but you're probably not going to like it. <laughs> you're not going to like it. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Uh. I can hear everything you say, little No, boss. you don't. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. Yeah, that... But it, the voice or me? He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place <laughs> to end. Wonderful four walls. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Should we? Uh, wouldn't using the blade, you know, you know, wouldn't we be dead? I want anything to get the fuck out of here. Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you ingrate? <gasps> How dare you, mister? Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. How long were we up there? You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Yay! The end. Nice knowing you. Yay! <laughs> Chapter 2. The Spectre. You're uh, on a path in the woods. Oh, for fun. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin... Let me guess, a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. The end of the world, as we. Uh, but I. I killed myself. I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. And if he doesn't remember what world. happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I do know it. That's fine. What? It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Oh, it's the, the, the voice of depression. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. At least your voices are kind of okay. Let's assume that blah blah, blah listen to you. 
Fuck it, let's go. A warning before you go any further. I know, lying. I know, she, she lying. She, she won't be a problem. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I don't like the voice of the call. But we can handle her. The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt Spooky. permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to Again do this Again with right. the implements. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Shut up, Colt. Uh, mirror, approach, take the plate. Did we just enter the basement? I don't know if I should take the mirror. The, the, mirror, the door the to the basement groans open. Revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. Oh shit. Nobody's here. Naturally. Of course, nobody to visit. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. Oh? I guess we'll just have to go down and see. Yes, we have to. As you descend <laughs> the final step, oh, she's still there. the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. I told you she's dead. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. <laughs> Before you have a chance to finish oh, your bother. thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Uh, what? Two oh. deep set eyes stare up at you, <laughs> followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Look at that cutie. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? <laughs> She's a spooky ghost. She's a cutie ghost. Ghost. Oh. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at How that. Absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, you know. Oh, it's you. Oh. Hiya, Keller. Oh. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. I like her voice. Like how she said. How she called me a kill. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. I like her. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. We could probably grab her and kill her again. If we want to. Bad cult. We don't even need a blade. She looks fragile enough to me. Jesus, voice of the cult. Stand down. Uh, wait and see. I see you don't have that annoying knife anymore. Yeah. So, does that mean you regret what you've done? Are you here to apologize and make nice? Pig for absolution, maybe? Maybe. Because I might be interested in seeing a little begging. Oh, she she wants. Uh, Jesus. Right, I don't think there's much more for us to talk about. I'm going to get my blade. Then, uh, then we can do. If you're dead, then there really isn't much for me to do, is there? I guess I'll get going. See, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about the, the wood. This already happened, we killed. Yes, obviously things are strange right <laughs> now. I think 
It's Unusual. safe to say that you've seen something, something you shouldn't have seen. Whatever worlds you've hopped between, whatever versions of me you've met, none of that matters now. There's no changing what's already happened. But you have a job to finish. Finish how? We already did what you told us. And now she's a ghost. There's a perfectly pristine blade waiting for you up there. Doesn't work on ghosts. You could always use it I to think. Whoa. I don't know. Slay her. And then what? And then you'll have saved the world. I think he's asking about what happens after we save the world. If that's even still an option. Yeah. What do you mean, after? What do we mean, what do we mean after? You already know what we mean, don't you? So why don't you go ahead and tell us? Are you going to try and lock us away in a timeless void again? Because I didn't much care for that. I'm not going to lock you anywhere. It's someone else that's gonna. What an interesting choice of emphasis. Yeah. No cold is kinda of like. So, uh. I killed you, what happened? I don't feel very bad. But I guess I'm not. Not? Dead. Okay. So you must have only mostly killed me. Mostly killed you, okay. Or maybe death is only mostly real, but it's also mostly not real. You're giving I'm me a sure. headache, lady. I'm just the one these things have happened to. I'm not the one with all the answers. Or any of the answers. But we're not a ghost. Unless we are? Are we? Death, at least as a form of permanence, is just a concept. <laughs> And clearly it's not a very useful one anymore. Maybe we should throw it out entirely. Okay, we're not listening to Colt anymore. Uh, somebody just See, this is why I didn't the door. want to talk to her. Death is not just a concept, it is an extremely real phenomenon. Don't <laughs> Modern let kids with their reality. Cold hard facts exist. The truth exists. It has to. <laughs> it has to? Are you trying to convince yourself? Uh your body's right there. Oh, your dead body, you know. The princess glances back <laughs> at the bones lying on the floor. It's just a body. Do you believe these bones? Or do you believe me? Because those bones aren't talking to you. Well, you got me there. She's seeing things pragmatically. We should do the same. Reality is what's in front of us. Not our preconceptions of what it should be. I, I mean... There doesn't need to be a static truth. There doesn't need to be objective. I kind of want to agree with the serial killer voice, but again, he's a freaking serial killer, so... Uh, so why did you come back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. Not the big obvious one that you put there. Oh. There's something older and deeper. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And where are you supposed to be? Home. Home? And just where is home, I wonder? Yeah. I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from someplace far away. Okay, then. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. Out where? How specific. Yeah, thanks. And how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. Which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the <laughs> end of the entire If you didn't world. know, it's uh, the title of the game, so you can't do that. You have to, you know, slay her. There, any way I can help you? Or stop playing the victim. Sorry, do you want me to die? Okay, there's still a lot of options. Can I help you? Bone? Do you need me to bury the bone? No. Those bones are just a body. They aren't me. Bury them. S smash them. It won't do a thing. Okay. But you can help me. This place won't let me leave. At least. Not alone. Sure, let's go together. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I 
I always wound up right back here. Yeah, I bought that. Just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything will be fine. Right? Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different oh. things. Probably will find a way eventually. But it'd be dull anyway. Shut up, Cole. It's more interesting if we make a choice. I mean, I guess. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. Sure. After all, Jesus. You owe me. Absolutely uh -huh. not. Is she asking if she can possess us? Oh yeah, let's go. She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. It's okay, we already fucked up one timeline or whatever. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? I don't know. Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. Oh, the narrator? I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. I haven't played a game before, so I don't know. Uh, this would just be temporary. If I let you in, we get still to be... Sounds great. You know what? Fuck it. The princess swims through oh, the air cute. in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Oh, she wants it bad. You're really not trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Yeah. Thanks for being a pal, killer. Yeah. I mean it. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? See you soon. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. Sounds great. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? <laughs> I don't think, yeah. It's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. Lovely. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Okay. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? I know, right? Annoying. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed to be you? The what now? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm a voice. I'm me is what I am. Yeah, what the fuck are they? Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. Yes, do. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. Oh, you douchebag. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. Huh. That's rude. <laughs> You're kind of like me, actually. So it's a third entity like us. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. 
Everybody knows that. I know he has a thing. He has to act like a freaking narrator. Just let him. I'm setting the stage. Yeah. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, hey. and all-round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. Yeah. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. Probably. Too much freaking noise. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Okay, killer. Okay, Wouldn't that be nice? There's only one way to find out. Great, I have two ser serial killers in my head. Jesus. Fine, leave the place. Not like I have enough. <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. Well, I mean, he thinks he is, probably. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? Yeah. It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. It's a freaking nightmare from a different dimension. From across the stars. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Oh, jeez. Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, hey. your body continues its ascent up the They're stairs, my friends. staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Oh, he can't, I guess. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate the bossy me. bossy one. Maybe he even likes me. <gasps> or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends, too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. Oh, he's I will uh, watching the continue to hate you for as long as I am able. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. Mostly. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Uh... Trudge forward? You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. Oh, she's my friend now. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? Nah. It's over. There's no use stalling. Just let it go. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Shit. Get on the floor. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? Everybody the handle the clicks toilet. as you twist it. And then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. Yay! As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Narrator? Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. Whoops. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? It's okay, we've been here before. Frost. We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or... We never been part of the world. I don't know, man. Too many questions. Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Pop out? Oh. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. Oh, she's a cutie. Uh, oh. 
You actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. No problem, babe. Don't mention it. Shut up, Yoshi. She's talking to me. I think this, this is where, where I meant to be. Is this home? Oh, crap. Well, bye. Ooh. You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory return. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Nah. And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Yeah. <laughs> Going to be okay. Trust. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Trust. You don't need to comfort him. I do. My friend. It's not the end. Whatever on... Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. See on the flip side. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Yeah. Whatever makes you happy. Thanks, God. You approach the mirror. Gaze. Reflection. Silence. As you reach forward, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown. Do I look a bit different? Find yourself in the long, quiet one. Yes, that's what the thing is called. Go to the cabin. Go to the spooky lady. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. I see. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Uh, Lord them before that? Are you the same being you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I don't I know. I broken pattern. But every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Hey, <laughs> thanks. Uh, what does it feel like to change like? Eyes close in reflection. I guess there's more R. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature. And there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. Oh no, okay, sure, then. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Oh, we're in there. You're so in there. Uh, you know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Bye. Kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. Oh, why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. I'm going to. There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. No. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. So how many more vessels do I need? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky. Oh, and you I don't know, okay. Perspective. 
You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. When I go back, it says, if invisible walls close around me, why can I not do the same things I've done? Wait, we cannot? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. So, what do you want me to bring you? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. I guess. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. You can look into this. Do you have any thoughts on the, the... this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. Oh. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. So you don't have any preference in how would you like to change her? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Oh, it's not like I can choose exactly what's gonna... I don't want to hurt you, but the, m the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. Yeah, nice. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. You're a bunch of hands, obviously. We will meet again. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I, I forgot. After one. You're in a freaking You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, it will be the end blah, of the world. Blah, blah. Uh... Sweet, I always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. That's the spirit. That's the freaking spirit. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning. Before she will lie. Blah blah blah. Will, yeah. We're not gonna go through with this, right? Ignore him. Go in. Yeah. What? What are we gonna do now? The interior of the blade. Uh, take it. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess. The daughter. Her voice. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Well, I think uh, I'm here to, you know, kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? Yeah. Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Oh, yeah. What? No way. Why would you even think it wasn't a joke? Oh. Well, 
wasn't a joke. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. <laughs> but you don't have knife. to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. She makes a compelling point. Yeah, she has a point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Yeah, we never did talk, huh? Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Yeah. You know what? Fucking drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Just talk. Against All right. your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. Make. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an oh. awkward start to a relationship. Here we are. First date. Yeah, pretty awkward relationship. Uh. Uh, I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. I think. Thank. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? Yeah. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? No, they never tell me anything. Fact. Like, oh, be honest, I'm not trying to trust you then. Damn. Sooner or later, you'll understand that oh, I have your best interests well. at heart. Hopefully sooner. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. You know what? Sure. Uh, I'll see what I can do. You walk up to the chains <laughs> binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Yeah, tug them. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. No, uh, I'm a strong lad. I'm guessing you don't have the key. What now? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Hmm. Going to check. Break key. I'll be here. <laughs> you attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Somebody just lock me in. Well. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yep. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Fuck it. They were... Against your better <laughs> judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. It's a weird way to save her, but okay. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and you make <laughs> quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free She's a from her binding, right. the princess turns to face you. A fierce gaze meeting your eye. 
How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Yeah, what the fuck? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. All right. Approach the log door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. Shit. One on one, the, the narrator. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, what? her body steps forward and raises the blade. What? Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do You can't that. control me. Watch me. Lace, lace, lace. Warn her. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. I know, right? Ow. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Well, she got me, but I... Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am no, trying uh, to get you out of here alive! Let go of me! Resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. No! Make me- oh, wait. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? Yeah. I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. Oh, crap. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. Uh, what are you going to do with that? And then she slits Ow. your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face well, remains no. unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? Yeah. I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. Maybe, I don't know. Chapter 2, The Prisoner. Isn't she the prisoner? You're on a path. You're here to... Okay, no. You bastard, you. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? Yeah. What on earth are you talking about? The tricks. We just met for the first time. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. I wouldn't trust a word you, out of his mouth. Your voice. There's got to be a way out of here. For us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you two, right? No, It's going to be sure. a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Yeah, but I was not listening. La Okay, so let's see what's the cabin this oh, time. Oh, warning. If she will... Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed <laughs> to. Wink. Wink. Did you just say wink out loud? No. No, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore <laughs> this clown and focus on the princess. I like, I like the skeptic. Proceed. I want to see the cult and the skeptic together. The buddy. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy Cop woodland buddy. retreat. Show, sure, I guess. Like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh. I don't know. You take the blade 50, 50. from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good idea. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. Sure. Yeah. Enter. <laughs> the mirror disappeared. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, Control. carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. 
Does she remember us? I guess. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the You princess. okay there? She looks You're having up, fun? The heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Why would you be worried about her restraints? <laughs> if anything, they'll make your job easier. I guess. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Oh. Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. Yeah, what the fuck? What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. I guess. Uh, I'm not sure I need to do much anything. How locked up she is? Leave. Let. Play. Without a moment of hesitation, you charge the princess, your blade primed to deliver a lethal strike. Hmm. Oh. Do you think these chains take away my say in things? I said no. As you move towards the princess, she stands, her chains clinking as she wraps them around her fists. Oh, we're gonna bumble. In an instant there around your neck, both of you dropping to the ground as she pulls them taut, bracing her body against yours as you struggle uselessly. Wait, what? The metal chains constrict around your windpipe as the princess heaves with a muscled intensity. Drop the knife or you die. Fuck what you. What's she doing? We weren't trying to attack her. Yes, we were. I can see where she might have gotten the wrong idea. She doesn't have much agency here. Would we have trusted her if the roles were reversed? Oh. I don't know. How about we think about the nuances of interpersonal relationships when we're not being strangled? How many times did I warn you she's not to be trusted? But while strangulation can be very distracting, she's not armed, and you have your pristine blade. End her before she ends you. Yeah. Play. You steal your will and refuse to give in to the princess's demands, yeah. ignoring the stars dancing in your eyes and the screaming of your starved lungs. Oh, what now? You strike. I strike. You fumble your first few attempts, only making surface-level scratches and gouges as your arm flails forward, barely able to obey you. Barely. But a single focused blow was Poke. all it took. Your blade pierces up through her ribs, slicing through flesh, striking her heart. Easy. The chains loosen. The darkness creeping in at the edges of your vision subsides. None of this was ever very fair. Was it? Yeah. But I did kill you last time. Yeah. I should have expected you might want some petty revenge. Well, it did. Unfortunately for you, that means you've dug your own grave. Oh. You can forget about me ever helping you again. Even if it damns us both. And just like that, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. Reward! I don't like this. It was too easy. It was not too easy. We almost died. Too easy. That's right. This was an incredibly easy, difficult easy. task, and you performed it admirably. Let's just get out of here. I don't like looking at her body. Plus, he said there'd be a reward. I'd appreciate a reward right about now. You have the attention span of a fly. Jesus. How are we supposed to unravel the mysteries of this place if you're so easily distracted by empty promises? I know, right? Time to detective this. It's better to have a short attention span in a situation like this. There's no use dwelling on the past, especially when it's Abby already set in stone. And especially when your promised reward is not, in fact, empty oh. and is worth all the adversity you've been through to get oh. here. Fine. But if we're leaving, then we're taking the blade. <laughs> I feel exposed without it. You're naked without Killing. With your work done, you remove the blade from the princess's corpse make your way back upstairs, Yay. closing the door to the basement behind you. You can think of it as sealing yourself off from an unpleasant chapter of your life. It's all uphill from here. Yeah. The windows. Do you see that? We used to be able to see the outside world from up here, but now it's just empty. Yeah, about that. The door. Check the door. Check the freaking door. You open the cabin door, 
ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Fuck. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush. You don't have to act surprised. We could see this vast emptiness through the windows. Yeah. But if everything's gone, does that mean we're not gonna get our reward? No. This is your reward. Wow. An eternity of bliss, if you'll have it. And I suggest that you have it. Okay. Yeah. This is what's best for everyone. Trust, Trust. me. Like hell it is. Bullshit. I was kind of hoping to get a better ending for saving the, saving the freaking world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No, this is the beginning of eternity. Your reward, like I just told you. Great, now I'm the princess. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years. Decades? No, it can't be decades. We can't go along with this. We can't let him win. Yeah. Narrator. Play yourself. Oh, let's go. You goddamn spiteful bastard. Nah. You're really going to turn down immortality itself just to make me lose. Oh yeah, fuck you. Why should it matter if we die at this point? Haven't you already gotten what you want? I don't have to answer that. That's all we needed to hear. Yeah. You raise fuck the blade, you. then drive it into your heart. You collapse to the floor, everything goes dark, and you die. Yeah. You're a genocidal maniac, you know yeah. that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see about that. Yeah, see you in hell, buddy. The Grey? What the fuck? After the You're on a path in the woods. See? That wasn't so bad. And now we've got another chance to get to the bottom of things. Yeah. Bit by bit, we're starting to unravel this place. Yeah. There are so many more threads to pull oh, once you good. stop feeling. That's a little dark, buddy. <gasps> you feeling okay? I'm feeling nothing. And I like that just fine. Okay, then. He's not wrong. Sentimentality won't help us here. Uh. We need scientific rigor. I love, I love the voices. So you've been here before. Of course you've been here before. What count is it this time? Two? It's our third. What gave it away? Oh, he knows. Your open discussions. You came around on that awful fast. Have you just been pretending to forget every time? Yeah. I'm afraid not. Whatever other versions of me you've met in those other lifetimes were just that. Other versions of me. I just wish I'd been the first. Oh. So you knew how all this worked. Why didn't you ever tell us? We could have used it to our advantage. Yeah, you douchebag. That's because there is no using it to your advantage. The more information you have, the harder it will be for you to succeed. Says so you. It's not like it was that difficult to slay her last time. Yeah. She may have put up a fight, but her flesh is still softer than our blade. Okay, God, please. And now she's dead. <laughs> and I doubt she'll be able to do much of anything from the grave. You already slew her. And you survived. Yep. Yes. Yes. Then why, pray tell, are you here? I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I know that one. We killed ourselves. Oh, yeah. Why? Oh, you know. Because you thought trying to stuff us away in a corner for eternity was a suitable reward. Was it not? <laughs> what better reward is there than eternal bliss? You should have been happy. We weren't. Yeah. We were bored. Yeah. You were bored. I was just unhappy. That too. There were still answers that we needed to find. My detective. It was actually working. And you killed yourself. I can't believe it. You ruined everything. Whoops. How does us dying ruin everything? What aren't you telling us? It just does. And I'm not telling you lots of things, but it's for your own good. Yeah, I it's know. For the good of everyone. I know you're not telling us a lot of things. It seems to me like keeping secrets didn't help you last time, so you should start talking. Yeah, you Fine. bastard. The world doesn't stay saved if you die. And if the world isn't saved, then that means she is dead. Oh, they need to keep us alive. So it doesn't reset. Oh, now isn't that interesting? 
I assumed she'd just be a pile of old bones, but perhaps she's not. There's only one way to find out. Let's try something different this time. We've already seen what happens when we slay her. Yeah. And I'm not convinced that's a way out for us. I'm not even convinced there is a world to save. Yeah, it's kind of getting weird now. Raining. It wasn't raining last time. Or the time before that. The whole path is different. Yes. Things are different, aren't they? Yeah. If this isn't the same path in the woods you're used to, that means that her influence is already spreading and you're running out of time. Oh, shit. Her influence? What's that supposed to mean? She's getting followers on TikTok. We gotta stab her. It means exactly what I said. Don't overthink it or you run the risk of making your task so much more difficult than it has to be. And what is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Forget I said anything. I've probably already made things worse, and I need to stop talking about this now before I definitely make things worse. Make him worse. Come on, tell us your secrets. Haven't we been through enough? Don't we deserve to know? Yeah. No. Okay. Is there a reason it would be raining? If there is, it doesn't matter. If a bit of rain is the best her influence can conjure, then we have nothing to worry about. A drink. Uh, what happens if we don't go to the cabin? She'll find a way out eventually and the world will still end. The only way this resolves is if you find her and slay her before that happens. We already know he wants us to slay her. Anything he says is tainted by his motivations. Yeah. Turn around and leave. Go to the cabin. <laughs> I'm fine with either. Okay, depression. So long as we don't just do the same thing again. That would be boring. And you wouldn't like me when I'm bored. Whatever happens next, it seems like all our answers in the, are in the cabin. We might as well see this through. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. Bye. Now let's continue. Let's see our I'm lovely sure princess. Heard my words of warning in one of your past lives. Uh -huh. You've already managed to slay her once. Just don't muck it up this time, alright? Yeah. yeah. Actually, do I want to kill what her now? What we do is entirely up to us. Yeah, fuck off. No voices in my own. And we have all those mysteries to unravel. Isn't that right? Yeah. You aren't here to solve a mystery. You're here to save the world. I'm here to solve freaking mystery. It's a, it's a detective game now. That's what you say. But how can we be sure? We can't be sure of anything except what's right yeah. in front of us. Okay, but we should care about the fate of the world. No. Okay, fine. Why? <laughs> Why? Because because we should. I, I don't know. It's important. Is it? Yes. I, I think. <laughs> yeah, damn it, hero, don't listen to code. Don't let them make you second guess yourself. The fate of the world is the most important thing there is. For all we know, the world you're talking about isn't even real. Yeah. Of course it's real. Where do you think you are? Somewhere else? Yes. Maybe we are. This is horribly unproductive. The cabin This is your extremely horribly destiny. unprofessional. Wait. I'll proceed. As soon as you enter the cabin, uh. you're struck by an overwhelming scent of decay, of mold and death and stagnant water. The once stately wooden building is bloated, its beams dripping with a black ooze of putrefaction, all but the exterior stone walls warped beyond recognition. It must have been beautiful once, but in its ruin, it is beyond repulsive. Great. But you're not alone. You can feel something watching you. Just feel? There is a figure faintly outlined against the rotting wood of the wall. Yeah, because I can freaking see her. Is that... Her. I think so. It's like she isn't even there. See? He killed her. You're right. Maybe she doesn't reset like us. She certainly doesn't look the same as she did last time. Yeah. Before you can make a move, oh. the figure is gone. Vanishing behind the door on the far side of the room. A door at the end of the room, but there isn't a door. There's a mirror, that's it. Yeah, stupid. A mirror? Is this some kind of joke? Did you all plan this out before dying? 
There is no mirror. There's the door to the basement, the table, and the pristine blade. Huh. What? That's strange. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Maybe it's gone because we've already killed her with it. Yeah, dummy. But we had it with us when we died. And besides, everything else has reset. Why wouldn't the blade have reset too? Maybe it's because we've already explored that avenue. We've seen what happens when we slay her. Maybe this place has decided we don't need to try that again. I suppose it doesn't matter why the blade is gone, but you're going to have to find it if you're going to do this right. So why don't you march over to that door and make your way down to the basement? There is no freaking door! There's no door. Maybe the mirror isn't real. Maybe it is real, and he's lying through his teeth to stop us from looking into it. But it seems like whatever we want to do, our next step is on the other side of the room. You're clearly hallucinating, but clearly. I can't not get into it with you right now. The door to the basement is on the far side of the room, whether you can see it or not. Bro. You make your way to the Whoa. door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You must think you're looking at that mirror you mentioned <laughs> earlier, the one that doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open the door. It's so hazy. We should try and clean it off. Uh, wipe the mirror. Reach what? forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. The handle is just a little to your right, and a little down. I guess we really are crazy. Yeah, we can see it now. So much for our reflection. We didn't need to see ourselves anyway. I'm much more interested in seeing other things. Okay. No way left to go but down. Go and the basement. The door to the basement oh, grows shit. open. The air is foul and wet, so thick that you can almost feel it settle onto your skin in layers of grime. The stairs are coated with slimy algae, the wood rotted through in places, reeking of fetid vegetation. Is that how you pronounce it, isn't it, algae? Algae. A wispy figure watches you from the bottom of the stairs. Face veiled in shadows, legs submerged up to her shins in dark waters. Wait, that's water? There is a wispy thing. There she is again. There she is. Barely. Right here. Here. She's just an old memory. Your eyes lock for a brief moment, then she vanishes around the corner. Sorry about last time. We good? We cool? You receive no response. Do you think she's upset with us? Oh, she... I don't like being here unarmed after what happened last time. I feel so... exposed. She doesn't seem fully there. I'm not sure she's even capable of being upset. You aren't helping. Are you scared of a little ghost? <laughs> What's she going to do? Look at us until we feel bad? She can look all she wants. It won't do anything. It don't. As you descend the final step, the, the form of the princess comes into view. A bloated body floating face down in slowly rising waters. Her wrist still bound to the wall by a heavy chain. Uh. This cell is a dark and isolated place, with not so much as a window to allow starlight to penetrate the gloom. Well, we did it. She did. See? She's dead. She's not just dead. It looks like she's been rotting. So killing her does stick. Mostly. But if she's dead, then what are we supposed to do? Yeah. We killed her, we killed ourselves, and now we're back here, so what the fuck you want me to do? She isn't dead. You clearly just believe she is. Her corpse is floating right in front <laughs> of us. You can stop it with the mind games. If she's dead, then do we even have to do anything? How can she be a threat to the world like this? Oh, well, she was a ghost at one time. Her thoughts are cut short by the sound of a slamming door what? and a clicking lock. You turn to see the shade Aye. of the princess staring down at you from the top of the stairs. So that's where the blade is. <laughs> so that's it's where it went. Her heart. And yet she isn't dead. She is dead. Have you never heard of a ghost before? That thing? Oh, for the love of... Can we not waste time arguing over the semantics of what is and isn't dead? 
Here's a she is right clearly there, conscious. She clearly just slammed the door on you, and she clearly has a weapon. Your pristine blade sticking out of her chest. This is extremely bad. Catastrophic, even. Maybe I can reason with her. Yeah, dead or not, what are we supposed to do about her? Slaying or destroying, if we want to be a little more death neutral. Death neutral. Seems off the table. Yeah, yeah what am I this is tricky. But let's talk to her. See what kind of information she has that we don't. But she hasn't said anything. Are you sure she can talk like this? Hey lady, can you speak? Bold of you to come back here after what you did. Oh. Why did you close the door? But she doesn't answer your question. All she does is watch you in shadowed silence. Do you hear that trickling sound? Oh no. The water's rising, isn't it? Oh no. It is. And it's rising fast. Oh no, she's gonna drown us. Well, that's interesting. We've never drowned. That's before. not interesting. I wonder how it'll feel. I don't I don't wanna Bad, know. I bet. I don't think dying ever feels good. Yes, how astute. Dying is bad and you should avoid it. How about you stop trying to talk to her and do something instead? Didn't they do like a research or something and drowning was like at the top of the most painful ways to go? I don't want to <laughs> experience that. Let me out. Are you trying to kill me? I'm going to drown. What's wrong with you? They only killed you after you killed me first. Oh, we're even Stevens now. Pathetic. <laughs> well, the water is rising faster now. It's means flowing she's right. from some unseen place, and judging by the height of the algae on the stairs, it has no intention of stopping any time soon. You feel it creeping up your back, so cold that it steals the very warmth from your flesh, leaving a smothering numbness in its place. You're not helping, narrator. Are you really just going to stand there and let yourself die? What the fuck you want me to do? Yeah, let's think. Where is it coming from? It's coming from some unseen place. Thanks. Does it really matter where it's coming from? Because I can feel it rising. I don't think we have much time to sleuth. Yes, it matters. Maybe we can find a way out. Maybe we can figure out a way to make this work. This is just a puzzle. You yeah. Solve it's a it. puzzle mystery game. Some things aren't puzzles to be Shut solved. Shut up. Sometimes you're doomed from the start. Puzzle. Yes, most people are doomed. But in case you need reminding, Everyone will be doomed forever unless you stop her. Oh. This about last time. I'm sorry. Please, I'm begging. Uh, wish for the blade. The princess eyes you with a disaffected gaze as you rush up the stairs. But you don't make it past the first few steps. What? The door bursts open, a powerful Help. wave of water crashing down towards you, and you're swept up in the flood. Your head slams into the basement wall. You come to a moment later, suspended in darkness, disorientated, only aware of the surface of the water and the emptiness above. And of course, of course. the princess, hovering above you, watching in silence as you struggle to stay afloat in the icy depths. There's no way out. Well, It's so dark and cold. I think our limbs are slowing down. How much longer can we do this? Not long. Just keep breathing. We'll figure this out. It's a puzzle. Relax. Or we won't. It doesn't matter either way. But you don't have time to figure anything out. Something cold and clammy oh, no. wraps around your ankle. Oh no. You're dragged under, well. only able to take one last hopeful gulp of air before your head is plunged into the freezing depths. As you sink below the surface, then you, die. you see it. What the fuck? Or rather, you see her. <gasps> the body you found floating when oh. you first arrived, its hand is locked around your ankle, the heavy chains pulling you both down into the unfeeling, suffocating nothingness. Bloated. I get it. We shouldn't have killed her. Just get it away from us, please. The past is the past. There's no changing it. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing to fix. Anything. And there's not a lot we can do about the present either. Not unless we think like we should have been doing all along. I don't like thinking, okay? But there is no thinking. Thinking hurts my head. 
You desperately try to pull yourself back to the surface again, and again, and again. Your icy limbs flailing desperately against the grip of her rotting corpse. And all the while her ghastly figure stares down at you, expressionless, as unfeeling as the weight around your ankle. I can see under your dress. <laughs> your arms fill with water, the same mind filled with blood. In the end, we're not so different. Oh. Yeah, grab her. But your lungs don't feel, no, nor will they ever. It's time for you to leave. Memories return. She's gone. W where did she go? Oh, we didn't die. Should Let's we go. Try and find her. Nah. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Relax. Of course, you're scared. This is the end for you. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. This... this doesn't feel right. It feels... different. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Fear? The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze. Silence as you reach. Oh my god, what happened? I'm all... oh, I'll eat. Wait, do I have wings? You've withered. Well... Find yourself in the long quiet once again, proceed. There's my beautiful babe, you're at the cabin, approach. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. Huh. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. I see. Can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist, stupid. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. What there now? are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. Okay, then. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. No. -uh. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Does that, doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Oh. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? No. If anything makes me like you more, don't know what. Really have no opinion. All right, let's go with. If anything makes me like you more, I don't know what that says about me. It says that your heart is gentle. Oh. That even in the darkness you are guided by compassion. No. Oh. Oh, uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one is guarded sorrow. She saw herself as alone, but in the end had the courage to share with another. She will make for a deep heart. Yes, yeah, sharing the, the drowning with, with me. Do not mourn her. She has finally been heard. Oh. Uh. What happens? What else does we leave them behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. <laughs> the angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Uh. 
Have you figured out what you want? When what you want when we... The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Hmm. How many more vessels do I need? We will know when we near our destination. <laughs> You're planning to kill you. If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm, even if you attempt to destroy me. Bent. No, 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 there's no. You'll not care what I bring you. I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. <laughs> okay. Uh, ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Yes. Oh my fucking god, every. The hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. You're here to slay her. If you... Okay. Good. Fuck it. I'm Lika. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess. A warning. She will love. We're not going to go through with this. Ignore him. I'm ignoring him. Right. What should we do now? What haven't we done? The interior of the cabin. The blade is. We try to kill her. Go without them. Walk it out, maybe? The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This, her voice. Hello? Is someone there? This, oh, cute again. Hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Um. Hey. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please. Come downstairs. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. She's beautiful. She's I am begging you to stay beautiful. focused. There's a lot. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Uh. Hold on. Let me. Let's talk for. Okay. So, uh, get you, keeping you down here like this, go back upstairs, retreat, I'm sorry but I just can't trust you, this doesn't add up and it isn't worth the risk to take you worth over the potential fate of thingy, so what you gonna do if I let you? I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what? What you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. <laughs> this is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. I want to know. Okay. Not, okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? I want to know where she pooped in. So, what's your name? Oh. Oh. She pauses. We have a Carefully family name, O. Words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. That's not the name. Or you can just call me princess Nothing. if your royal highness is too formal. Yeah, your royal highness princess, that's not a name. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? Oh, so, princess. Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. 
I would not. Give me a name. I'm sorry. I've been down here so long. I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a... Okay, that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Don't know about you for oh, I know you're locked up down here for. Of course, I'm locked up down here for a reason. I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess. You have all the explanation you need. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. Uh, so what you're gonna do if I let you out? The princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. Are you looking for the truth, or are you looking for the right answer? The truth. Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. Yeah. It's not like you'd believe me. I would. I can't believe there. But I don't think you're. I want to see for myself, huh? You're not sure what to. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? No. Oh, but I'm sure they have their... Re Remain silent. They haven't shared a thing, have they? Yeah. All they've done is point a finger. Yep. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Yep. I don't trust that, and I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. I know, right? This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? I don't know. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here. And it's whoever said- Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. And reward. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. No less. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, but the uh, risky. What if I stayed for a while and just uh, kept you company? Well, that seems like a pretty good compromise. Yeah. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving Tough her luck. Is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. I was with, with you, Kiro. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. Um. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't, Shit. I can promise that you'll regret that decision. Oh yeah, make me. You have to make a choice. Let's hope, for all our sakes, it's the right one. Uh... Get down. Yeah, they are here. You can't be serious. Thank you. Thank you, you won't- You're making a huge mistake. You? No. I think you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains, binding that they're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine. I'm guessing you don't have the key? No. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. 
Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. There isn't a Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Not with my puny hands. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She oh. offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. I guess. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Damn it! You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Hey, let me out of here. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess. Make me. You won't leave until the task is done. Right the door? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Return to the bottom. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Everyone. For the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, yep. didn't they? For There's the a fifth time. Rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely what the hesitates fuck? before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. As she rips her flesh from her bone, what? a sound comes from behind you. The, the clang what? of bouncing metal. Somebody throw me the, the knife. from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Uh. Or we could use it to free her. Ah, oh, she's, she's freaking like me out. I'm gonna stab her. That. Without hesitation, <laughs> bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Okay. You... you... Bastard, oh, were you lying to me this whole time? Maybe I, I don't know even anymore. Like, what the fuck is happening? The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a He's gone, Pharaoh. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. Jesus. We had the, upper hand. the voice actress of the princess is really she's good. Barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. Yeah, about that. Don't waver now. As you ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your knife cuts into her again. Oh, she's and again, ripping me to pieces. Ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Puncher. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. We're destroying each other. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Give up. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? As what's left of your blood pools around you on the cobblestone floor, <laughs> the blade falls from your trembling My guy's like, nah, you know what, fuck it, I'm done. I suppose you simply lacked the will to finish the job. The princess, wounded but still alive, nervously jumps at the blade and kicks it far away from you before retreating into a dark corner of the room. Her shining eyes watch you from the darkness, hey. unblinking and curious as you bleed out. Wait, I'm dying? We can only hope the wounds you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, they'll kill her before she can reach the outside world. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? Yup, that's me. 
This is the end, isn't it? Before you can answer, everything goes dark, and you die. Yay! The beast. Oh, woods. The beauty and the beast. On the on the beauty. On the path in the woods. You're here to slay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to... If he doesn't remember what happened... Don't it? Then something else must have trapped us here. You're not trapped here. Nobody's forcing you to do anything, though the only sensible thing for you to do right now is march up to that cabin and slay the princess. Uh... Let's see the new cabin. A warning. And the new princess. Before she will lie. Does a cat lie to a cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom? Or is it just acting out its nature? I don't see why that matters. A lie is a lie. <laughs> yeah. And if anything, she's the one who's cornered. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. Okay, hunter guy. That's a very roundabout. Actually, he's a prey. He's hunted. And take this seriously. Maybe. Eat. Let's see what the beast is. The interior of the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. The only furniture of note is a termite-eaten table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh... Just enter? If we go in with a blade and she's all feral, she's gonna get as a threat, maybe? No steel claw. Do you think we can talk our way out of this? I don't think she wants to talk. I guess sure. we'll just it have to trust that we made the right call. Maybe it does. It'll still be here if we need it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If oh, the princess shit. lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Oh shit, she's gone, Pharaoh. She growls up the stairs. Oh shit. I can smell you. Oh fuck. She sounds almost feral, impatient, or maybe eager. <laughs> Beep. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to shit. the damp earth floor of a starlit pit. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness, giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. That's a tail. The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. Right here. Oh shit! You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Welp. Remember, she's just a princess. Just a prince? She's a freaking beast! She is certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. Oh, she's gonna eat us. Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily right at you here. from the darkness. It's right here! Get her! I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. Oh, bit of a the eagle, huh? Your spine and pulls you upright. The what? Air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move now. What do I do? Where? You hear that clicking? She's in chains again. We're fine. It's fine. We're not. Move. You're about to attack me, aren't you? I can see right through you. There's a shift in the humid air, and something enormous Princess lunges from the shadows, her maw unhinged and dripping, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. Holy moly! 
She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. Well, guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no. This is what? it. You're you alive? What the fuck? A caustic place. A thick, fibrous lining constricts me. around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid, finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. You spoke when you needed to act. Yeah. The liquid pooling beneath you starts oh, to no. seep into your skin. You itch, then sting, then burn as the acid begins its Oh, it's one of those work. games, huh? All right. Let's bring in the fetish. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. Yeah, flesh around you I've been told that before too. To Her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. But you, you don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on my back. And I threw myself against that door. Okay. She stops, her muscles tensing around you. And through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Her chains. She's loose. She's loose. But even then, it Who's denied loose? me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. And then it was gone, and I was here. A new enclosure, a nicer cage, but still a prison. Is it nicer? I learned from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive in here? Yeah, what? Do you what? really need me to give you a definitive answer yes. for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. We don't have steel, but we have tooth and claw. Tear through her before we are her. Can you talk to the cabin? I understand it, and it understands me. Talking me. is for those who don't know how to listen. Could have asked me before swallowing me alive, you dumbass. I acted on my will, fledgling, and you acted on yours. The strong triumph, and the weak submit or perish. Okay then. Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slough from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. I don't think we can talk our way out of this. We are drowning in death. There's no more space for work. Uh. Fine, go, fuck you. Oh, can I? I don't know. The click of what you presume to be a door ripples through the layers of suffocating flesh. That wasn't so hard. Wait, did I, I open, open the door? Another massive step. And then another. And then... And then? Then? It's gone quiet, hasn't it? You can feel a churning in the forms around you. And then a wet tunneling before you. Before you're ejected to a place that uh, is nowhere at all. I guess I don't need you to be a part of me. Oh. How lucky for you. Oh, she... She, she puked me out like a hairball. This place is cold. Oh, she's a cute. Never mind. But before you say anything to her, she's gone. Memory returns. She's gone. 
Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Uh, is that a mirror? Why is it here? Going to be okay. It's so bad. Like the thing reeks of death. Be on the flip side. Okay. If I'd like to be somewhere nice. <laughs> Approach mirror. Go see the lady. You approach the mirror. Gaze into the reflection. Silence. Blah blah blah. Oh my god, it's a skeleton hand. You're unraveled. Cool. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Beat. There she is. You're at the cabin approach. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Yeah. Do you know what we'll find out there? No. Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want to tell? Rhetorical. I am not <laughs> rhetorical. No. So. I have only known these spaces. And I have known flickers of the lives you've brought me. Short and violent and full of passion. But all of those flickers end where the long quiet begins. I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? No. There are three stars and there are people, I, th I think, at least there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. Yeah. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we are? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. I see. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Do you have enough of these stupid... Oh, what, what are your thoughts on that? This one is consumed by instinct. A predator pushing those around her to adapt. She will make for a bold heart. She wishes me to devour you, <laughs> to make you a part of myself, but she is only a voice. Oh, Do not mourn her, for she is part of something greater. Uh, so what's gonna happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. Okay. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but none of them is something else. I... Oh, oh, one of them is something else. I call him the narrator. And he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I don't know why, but I know this. He does, I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally, you and I are finally gonna have answers. He does, and when I find him, I'm going to murder him. He does, but you're going to keep that your... Oh, he does, that motherfucker. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. Yeah. How many more do you need? One. One? Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to do? These gifts are a conversation. And each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. This is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just gonna stay here. You've already tried waiting, but I understand Did if you I? need more time. I'll wait with you. There's no waiting for I'm ready to go. 
the next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Oh. The hero and the prince. You're on a path. You're here. Yeah, yeah. You make your way up the short path. A warning. She will love. We're not going to go through. Ignore him. Well. Whatever happens, happens. What should we do now? The interior of the cat. The blade is your. Do we do it again or like. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world. Yeah, yeah. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Well, in you down. Good. You're still listening to reason. Hi. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful focus on the task at hand and there you are there I are am. you here to kill me or something or something yeah <laughs> no no uh then drop the knife we should it'll go a long way to building trust with her don't you dare it's fine we can decide what we want to do after we talk to her maybe she really is a monster Fighting you. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tie. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? No. Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. What can you do? She's unarmed. If you hesitate... N uh... Not dropping the boot. Are you sure she's not armed? I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes... Double, triple, If sure. she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hesitating? No. Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? How about no? Play. You charge the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct. A blade of her own slips down the sleeve you. and catches you in the neck. Blood sprays from the cut. How did she make a shift? Artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. Finish the job. <laughs> With the last bit of your <laughs> will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. Oh. The two of you collapse on the floor together, rapidly bleeding out. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder... Yeah, me too. Do you really think that this was enough to stop me? Yeah. It's like... She's convinced she can't die. Yes, she made that face again, so she died. But you don't died. have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Cool. Chapter 2, The Razor. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. You're here to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Proceed. A warning. If she will lie. He couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. I cheated. We know what to look out for this time. 
We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped Gee. wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Blade. Okay. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I know, right? It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Enter. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing Why is everything fucked up? Stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can scrape it. She's not even trying to hide her knife. It's like she wants to get in our head. That sound mm. could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Ah, uh, she, she armed. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. Grating. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah. yeah. She thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. Hmm. As you descend the final mm. step, the form of the princess comes into view, I her sharp eyes following you from across the room. Don't like this, yeah. Finally, somebody. Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Yeah, no shit. Come on now, we're not <laughs> falling that's for that, my... are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Yeah. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. I am armed. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? <laughs> right. Oh, oh my god, we have so many options. Uh, yeah, I'm not trusting this. Uh, bye. It's boring if you leave. She's bored? <laughs> huh? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's... She's oh, shit! In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm. Her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own <laughs> oh, overall. Look at that. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? Jesus. At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. She looks down at <laughs> something between annoyance and confusion. And then oh she my slices God. through her arm. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't Choose it. hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Ah, shit. Okay, she's down an arm and we still have a weapon. I guess we'll have to use it. Use it you do. Perry. Unfortunately for you and for the entire world, you are horribly outmatched. What? You keep pace with her. For what? I need that. And wordless exchange before she severs your hand and with it your only line of defense. She's even better at this than she was last time. Bloody cheater. <laughs> Freaking cheater. I'm going to kill you now. Okay. And with a squelch, <laughs> she does just that. The, the mouse changed to, to the other hand because she... Everything goes dark and you die. The arms ring. You're on a path in the woods. What the? No, you're what? The interior of the cabin is sharp. A constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? <laughs> what did you just do? Me? I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Wait, the cheated controls the universe now? Nobody. 
Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. <gasps> the hunted. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. Yeah. For whom? Someone or something is out there pulling the strings and we're all just puppets until we can figure out how to see them. But what if that someone is us, eh? Eh? Wouldn't eh? that be neat? If we were the ones pulling the strings, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have died twice already. Great, so obviously you've already been here. This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realise that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction. Wait, what? Right. That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. It's only too much responsibility if these worlds are real. Hmm. Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched. We take it. <laughs> okay, sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. Sharp. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. What if winning is the wrong move? It isn't. I don't care whether you trust me or not, but at least trust that defeating the person who has apparently killed you twice already is a good idea. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? Yeah. There isn't a door, there's just that mirror. There isn't a mirror. You only really messed things Here up. Here we go didn't. again. It's like you can't even see reality anymore. We can see our reality just fine. Why should we trust- I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Approach the mirror. Make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. It feels like it's hiding something from us. It's part of the big picture. I just know it. I just know it. I guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Mm. Hi. It Hi. looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's toying with us. She's acting like she already knows she's won. Yeah. Thinking about dying makes us as good as dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Just nothing once, okay. Yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. Eh. Uh, People there mattered. I'm sure they're fine. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your internal bickering oh, is cut short uh, by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. Oh, crap. She's loose, and she is coming for you. She's fought loose. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Yeah. Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. Cheese it. Uh, gee. Wins by killing us, right? Beat. Going to fight. By flirting. Flirting. Render. Authority. Uh, oh, these. Uh, Of her up a bit, there's a reason we. 
out. I think I, all of these ideas suck. Yeah, that's right, we just have to think. There's probably an answer if we think. Just standing there, huh? A bold strategy. <laughs> you don't have time to finish oh my your God. thought. In a moment, she's across the room, blades flashing in the dim starlight. She skewers you. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh. What a surprise. Yeah. We don't even get a second to think without her stabbing us. It's the skeptic. Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Probably. Right. No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? Yeah, where am I? We're dead, aren't we? We're dead, dead. How long have we been dead? Have we been dead the whole <laughs> time? Dead, 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 Oh shit, dead. the broken. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? I don't know anymore. This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas. Aww. I love that. He loves me. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another us. Yes. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. Probably not. But That's not how it moving. works. It's going to get so loud <laughs> in here. How are we going to keep it all straight? Everybody shut up. Come on. Show me something new. Okay. Plan. Now. Nah. Uh. Better stab us. Going to try flirty. Render. I'm gonna try the flirting. Doesn't work, and she kills you again and again and again and again. Memory bursts, your consciousness leaves from life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpired. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a Mitten. woman. She skews you. Oh. You're cute. Thanks. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. The burn. She skewers you. Damn it. You'll have to be trickier than that. And then you skewer yourself. <laughs> I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. How many voices are there? What's the point? It's all the same. Well, she skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give <sighs> Okay, let's go again. Let's go again. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Let's appeal to her better nature. Oh my god, there's that. millions of voices. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. She skewers you. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. He's getting all weird. One last time. That's all we need. And then everything goes dark. Then you die. And you die. Right. Mutually assured destruction. What? Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Yeah. Oh, what if? Throw it out the window. <laughs> okay. Over my dead body. That won't be very I, hard. I think I, I'm it crazy. I think I went. But I can't say I mind anymore. I went insane. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the eh. same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? Yeah, what the Isn't fuck? Good. How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them? Yeah, leave it to the pros. <laughs> we'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter oh my God. with Written. our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. 
You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's more of a slide. Yeah, we know. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? Don't care, just want to win. Fine, you make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? Yeah. I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. He's having fun. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Yeah. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. Do it. Do, do, do. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh. Do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear yes, you go describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go. Now. Now. The princess's oh my God. skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Then it erupts. She oh my god. A wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Hey. Are you ready for what comes next? Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy moly. She's gorgeous. Oh my god. Absolutely Smitten. divine. Yes. Behold. The perfect really stubborn. Woman. Do you think we can throw her out the window? That looked painful. How Even is she Gold still was alive? impressive. Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all <laughs> fake. That's fake all news. Just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? Asking the real question. This How do you stab a stab? I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Empty your mind. Just happened. What? It's so quiet. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Oh. You do not act, and yet. Through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes you as you approach. But as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. Oh, I became nail. I believe now. Your weapons clash again and again, and you and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There's only the dance. Ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound. And the faster the momentum volley between you. Volleys. An endless building a uh, crescendo and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition and her strike too. But strikes are lethal, neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good end. And then she's gone. Uh, you do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Approach the mirror. Do so. Grace, glaze, blah blah blah, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. Huh? A raven? But that isn't right. Can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it, a figure, faint and veiled, in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know. It's a narrator. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image of glass in two. 
And then another crack forms another and another, turning the mirror into jade sharps of broken glass. What the fuck? So you are the narrator. I was wondering if I ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help after all, an objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Doesn't matter. So what are you? Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. Okay. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Yeah, I did. Others like you? You said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. Yeah. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Hmm. Do you have anything to say for yourself or all hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Have many questions. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off? I'm sorry I don't want to destroy you. Every time I ask you a question, like a piece of you breaks. Part of me. So you don't know about the, the loopings. So many of the times I met you, you denied it even being a possibility. Why did you lie to me? you made me, then what am I? Wasn't supposed to steal all, all this, was I? What is the princess? Did you make her too? People out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? They know what, uh, what you want me to do to them? And what is my true identity? So many questions I want to ask. You're the long quiet. Huh? The god I made to rid the world of death. I'm the long quiet? Dang, I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. You are you. And if you would let everything work the way it was supposed to, you never would have woken up to the reality of your true nature. There's no accounting for free will. Who cares about dying? I've died plenty of Why would you want to rid the world of death? If you need to ask that question, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. But I'm pretty sure that is good, actually. Important, even. If that's your belief, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. Okay. That was the joke. Uh. Who cares about dying? I've died plenty of them. You haven't. You've flirted with dying. You've played pretend. But your consciousness is an unbroken stream. Soon I'll be gone entirely, and you'll be left alone with your final choice. Final so choice. allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her, but I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. Do it. Slay her, and rid the world of death and suffering. Yeah. Uh... And how do you know everybody else doesn't also experience that the way? What is the princess? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change, 
She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, as she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. Seems that every me you met did a real shit job of it, though. Yeah. It's kind of not good that you... Uh... Uh... I think you're out of time. So I am. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. No, birdie. With the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with a newfound clarity. The narrator was right. You were the long quiet. A vast and nascent god. And it's uh, finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. See to the cavern. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. What the? I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. Yeah, I can see a lot of you. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. Thanks. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Oh, you are kind of shifting it. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our come? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Uh, what happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven I didn't have a future, choice, okay? Isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitude. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Well, there's so many stories. We have a truth, I'll let you out. Told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Should we do it? So many stories. You were always going to become this then. What was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what the roads I walked? If all of them would have let you to. There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I'll do it. You know what? I told you what I was gonna do. I know. And I've been waiting for you to see it through. Oh. Violence has always been our language, hasn't it? Yeah. If this is what it takes to save you, then so be it. Save me. Uh, a boundless torrent of blades cuts you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. Right. 
On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts are not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. Cool. You learned to put yourself away and to follow the flow of reality. And you used it to rise above me. Yep. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. Unjust impossibilities pushed you to become something you would never have been without them. If you hadn't snatched that body away, would we would have killed each other. We were so destroyed. It felt so good to finally win, even if it was going to cost me my life. Even if the journey was agony, the end gave me the struggles. Oh, whatever. And even then, what we saw was not an ending. When I thought I had reached an unconquerable peak, you showed me how much further I could still climb. Oh. You are devoured. Pray for something bigger than you that stalks and slinks in shadows. Within, you are tightly bound and choke on heavy air as acid burns its way into your pores. A nest of things devouring within things devouring. Lovely. But even when dissolved, you gifted me a life. Perhaps it was fear that drove you. Perhaps it was compassion. But the outcome of an act matters more than its intentions. There is a natural... A world without sustenance is a world without relationships. And it is our relationships that give us form and substance. Where's the slade? My intentions do matter, I only free you to things. You cannot use eating me to prove that you're right. You still cling to the horror of dying bodies that rot worlds apart from us. How many more vessels would you need to lose before you realize their irrelevance? But I like my vessels, they too. I kill you, you kill me. Back and forth we go, faster and faster and faster. I kill you, you kill me. Hollow eyes watch from the dark corners of a forgotten place flooded by emotions left unspoken. The tide rises. I kill you and me. An ending is a passion that can only be expressed with a moment in time. It is a seed for a new beginning. To linger on an ending is to rob it of its life. I have no idea what the hell anybody is talking about. And without me, all that's left to do is linger. I'm okay. I get it, there's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you. Don't... Oh, fuck that. I don't want to linger. Then don't. A shiver passes through you as unseen fingers, cold as the grave, dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and yet they do not return it. I offer you a path to your redemption, and you take my hand in yours. Oh, the ghost shield still light. You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to set me free. Oh, I didn't Without know that sin, was gonna happen. There is no redemption. Without redemption, there can be no sin. And without contrast, there can be nothing at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fear is what pretends to protect us from loss. To fear death protects from losing a body. To fear ruin protects from losing status. To fear rejection protects from being known. But losing a body is contained within having a body. Losing status is contained within having status. Being known is contained within being conscious. I'm getting a headache. 
It is in the nature of all things to transform, to go from known to hidden to known again. But when the ceaseless impermanence of all things strips away the finality of endings, what remains of fear? Is it a shelter protecting you from itself? Or is it a shelter protecting itself from you? You took fear by the hand and walked with it into the unknown. And through that, you feared nothing. It wasn't a rejection of fear. Frog. Uh, you wanted to make the world suffer, you act above all, but you can't. Yeah, fuck you. A desire born from the narrow view of a single life. But even well, then, I'm sorry that I'm not a thousand naked people in one. And sensation. To feel is to exist, and to exist is to have meaning. As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Are you starting to see? Huh? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. You cannot remove something without removing the relations which define it. To destroy what you perceive as evil is to damn everything you perceive as good. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Uh, you know what, you persona-looking boss motherfucker? Can't let that happen. Can't let everything go. Even now you think you can destroy me. If it takes all of eternity to break your delusion, I will still break it. You don't have to fight so alone. <gasps> Let's go, voice of hero! Where's the stab? Uh... You have no idea how good it is to hear you, buddy. It's good to be here. You'll never be able to strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to our heart. Let's it's go. It's time to resume our dance. No fucking. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Then let's go. Let's go. What? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, Hero is not really an, an artist. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's and here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? Sure. I'd like that. For all times. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? He's trying, chair, okay? He's a table doing his and a knife and a door. And some windows. You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really mentioned the windows, did he? No. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. And I know I've already mentioned it, but if we want to see this through, we're going to need that blade. Yeah. Is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of her. Shit. Is the narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. It's funny, after everything he put us through, I'm kind of sad to see him. Is that why you want to see this through and slay her? Yeah. The blade. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. The base. Is that the true princess? The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Yeah. Feels like it was like three hours and 18 minutes ago. It's almost over, isn't it? Yep. That's okay. Let's just talk. The two of us. One more time. Before you kill me. She sounded just like that. Timid and gentle. Only, she didn't know us. And you're down there. And down we go. 
we shouldn't keep her waiting. You're really going to do it then, aren't you? You're really going to kill me. You don't have to. You know that, right? I do. But if that's what you want, we might as well talk a bit first. I wouldn't mind a few extra minutes. Or we... Sorry. So this is really it then. Let's see this through. So this is what it feels like to actually die. I think this is for the best. I don't know what the world would be like without me. But it can't be that bad if it still has you in it. I've always loved you. Don't forget me. You blink. And the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small melancholic weight that sits at the border of your heart. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being uh, was rough and jacked and left each of you with a piece of the other. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. No, she's not. A small part of her is with... Is that a metaphor, or are you being literal? Doesn't matter, we don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. You leave the basement behind. The stairs. Then you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. The path uh, and the woods outside are empty can uh, canvas. But there is even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of your labor. A world free from death. Let yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. A new feel sensation and limbs you once couldn't phantom. Everything here is you. Feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumped and bound in agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the grass of the construct, glass of the construct pressing in on and finding you across infinite sides and infinite angles. Push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Yep. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once the unyielding tension gives way. Oh. And then the shattering. You are free and before you lies the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality. One forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that was stained your hands countless times over. Whoops. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. Yay! This is nice. No more hunting. No more running. Just us. And whatever's out there. Yeah. Absolute reality. Captain. Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? And who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? I know, right? The whispering, and the coercion, um. and the bickering. Everything horrible about being alive has stopped. I could get used to this. That wasn't very hard at all. Yeah, cold. Speak for yourself. Well then, I guess the only thing left to do is figure out what happens next. Play the princess achievement, we did it! We flippin' did it! We played her! 